From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. All right, talking about a soaked start to the day, but we do dry it out. We're actually dealing with just a couple showers this afternoon, but look at our temperatures. It gets pretty gusty outside later on today, and the temperatures don't go anywhere. They actually just start cooling off more and more. Next couple of days, I've got mornings in the 40s, a few showers each day, and afternoons in the 50s. We don't see sunshine until Friday. We don't get back into the 60s until the weekend. Terrence and Katie here with the News 5 update. Jury selection in a landmark court case starts today in Cleveland. 12 people will be picked to decide if drug companies can be blamed for the opioid crisis. Six companies are defendants in this case. More than 2,000 cities, counties, and individuals behind the lawsuit accused those companies of fueling the crisis for profit. A man who says the Browns wrongfully accused him of throwing beer at a player is now suing the team. The Browns never released Eric Smith's name, but he claims the team banned him from First Energy Stadium. He's arguing he wasn't even at the season opener last month and is seeking a public retraction from the Browns and financial damages. This abandoned factory doesn't just look bad. It is also dangerous for anyone near it. But right now there's plans to give the building new life. Kevin Barry shows us how it will make the Clark Fulton neighborhood a better land. Big redevelopment projects on big abandoned buildings like the old Blanket Mills factory sometimes run the risk of chasing away people who have lived in their community for decades. But the Metro West Community Development Organization tells me the apartments that are planning to go on the top of this building are going to be priced affordably and intended for families, while the bottom floors create space for social service organizations. Ricardo Leon runs the Metro West CDC. He says this kind of plan will keep residents in their community while getting rid of large, dangerous, empty buildings that were holding the neighborhood back. So it kind of adds that disinvestment and that disenfranchisement that this community has seen. Uh, because you have this huge eyesore kind of sitting right in the heart of the neighborhood. The developer tells me they're focused on making sure they can get the necessary tax credit so that the project can be built. They say they'll find out if those are all in place by the end of the year. In Cleveland, I'm Kevin Barry, News 5. Make sure you check back later today for another update. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.